Hey, yo guys, what is up, Brandon? You're back with another video, guys. Tonight is New Year's Eve. Tomorrow's New Year's. Um, I'm gonna be at Dylan's house tomorrow. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna be at Dylan's house tomorrow watching the Rose Bowl game. So yeah, guys, the Detroit Lions got screwed out of winning by the stupid refs. I will put that in this video right after this. So here it is. So you have the confidence of 430 pound feet of best in class standard torque. Second down and 10. There's St. Brown. Head of steam. Touchdown, Detroit. Dan Skipper, an extra offensive lineman, comes in. Play action. End zone. There it is. Unbelievable. The two point try is absolutely stunned. Now a flag comes in at the end, and they've thrown another. The question is, did Skipper, an offensive lineman, report? What else could it be? Touching by number 68. So the call is an illegal touch. I think number 70 and number 68 came in. And I'm not sure 68 reported as an eligible. Well, 68 is Taylor Decker, their left tackle. Skipper came in, he reported. And 68 is there at left tackle, and he's the one who ends up making the catch. Right, but he's on the end of the line, and he's been playing that ineligible position. So if he's going to be on the end of the line and be eligible, he needed to report as well. Wow. So that will back it up, and the Lions will have to do it again. Well, you see Dan talking to him, and I can't imagine, you know, I can't imagine them having that play in and him not reporting because that would be stressed throughout the week. I, I, that is hard to believe. Well, let me ask you this. Now that it backs you up, do you kick the extra point and tie the game? They lead their offense out there to try to convert again. Yeah, from the seven-yard line. I, this is aggressive. So Decker didn't report. He caught the two-point conversion. They threw the flag at the end of it. And now a flag on Parsons. This one's picked, but Parsons came across. There's a flag on the play. And hold all tickets. Yeah, they do. <laughs> They definitely got Micah Parsons in the Outside. neutral zone. Defense, number 11, moved into the neutral zone, part of the snap. So let's do it again. Well, how, ma how many more plays does Ben Johnson have up his sleeve? And Parsons definitely in the neutral zone. And the ball is sitting just inside the four. And there has been no hesitation by Dan Campbell on what he's doing. Even after the penalty, no question in his mind. Here we go. Goff gets rid of it. Incomplete. And now the Cowboys maintain their lead. James Mitchell, the tight end, couldn't make the catch. And the Cowboys finally able to exhale. What a finish. Well, they had Detroit got exactly what they wanted. And as good as golf was on that last drive, this throw was not. And if he hits Mitchell in stride and gets it on him, he, he gets the two-point conversion. But the ball was low. You're going to see they push up with Laporta to give Mitchell room on the route. Here again is that first try that was successful, but Taylor Decker, 68, did not report. Yeah, and Joe, pick pick which one you want. Number one, he's not covered by an eligible. So it's an el ineligible downfield. It's illegal touching by alignment. It's an illegal formation. They're all five yards. Take your choice on which one you want here. 
That's Williams in motion. Low snap. Melrose stopped. Michigan makes a stand and comes up with a milestone playoff victory.